what happens after this fight, but I think that's that's a plan for now. how they read each other and see if they can adapt to each other's holes and weaknesses if there's any uh, to see so you in for a treat for this fight yeah um, I believe Israel's a southpaw too so we've got a classic matchup of uh, orthodox yeah. with southpaw for those at home uh, you, you've got to look for that uh, those lead hand uh, and lead rear leg leads so lots of head kicks on the lines for both boys Lots of stepping off the angle, lots of um, the battle of that front foot. Heading over Isaac Savage. See why they call him Zeus, they're back on the lead. Jesus, looking like a bloody silverback. Animal. Oh, I'm oh, shaking. Yeah, have a glimpse <laughs> first thing. The man definitely doesn't uh, miss back day. I think Ollie's got the reach. Reach advantage. Just yeah. Pretty yeah, I think uh, Ollie stands at 5'11, maybe just short of 6 foot, so uh, pretty pretty decent height for a lightweight. A long, a long, long leg. Quite well too. So, cl classic battle. Uh, I was saying earlier, Southpaw versus Orthodox. You're probably going to see both fighters looking to uh, leave with their front leg and then battle for outside position, fainting, uh, fainting their their opponent into that lead hand. Yeah, I think Ollie might be throwing a lot of kicks. Um, since, like you said, Loki does mm. come back come from a attack on the background. Mm. He loves and those heads are really flexible. Um, mm. so those yeah. kicks will be open. Yeah, Israel looks to be uh, in that orthodox stance, though he's switched over now. Both men wearing the same shorts? Yep. There's that dexterity we were talking about earlier on. Inside low kick, straight up top. Oli's been super active um, over the last 12 months. He's uh, fought in the Tiger Muay Thai beatdown, also had a couple of fights over in Europe, I, uh, I believe in Hungary. There's a Taekwondo coming in from Oli. You can see um, Oli's been a bit more active on his feet as well. He's moving sideways, back and forth as well. But East Race is looking to just engage, to be honest. It's just yeah, big force pressure. Yeah. Oli slips into southpaw and throws that left hand. Conor McGregor style. He's really looking settled in, throws a couple of feints, to back to southpaw. I think Israel might be needing to move his feet a little bit more. 
excuse the names on the screen, guys. This is not O'Keefe and um, that was Gouda. A fight. This is uh, this is Oli Schmidt and Ezra. Ezra pressing forward. Oli with that counter overhand, double jab up top, down low. Staying quite heavy on his feet, Ezra. Um, he's looking for that big punch, I think. Mm. Good pressure by Ezra. Um, Oli is a pretty uh, pretty good counter puncher. You'll see him slip into that southpaw as well. Good take on defense by Oli. Oh, beautiful. Oli definitely uh, investing nice in that jab to the body. Oh, it just missed over the top there. Here's that jab to the body again. Looking like he's going to set something up over the top. Ezra catches that uh, teep. Gets those hands gripped. He's definitely looking to get it to the ground. Oh, beautiful knee to the solid back. I'd like to see this fight go to the ground. See, see how it both will do on the ground. That was a beautiful kick by Ezra. Oh, and another one. Yeah, really working the left body kick. Hey, yeah, right. very interesting round. Um, we've got one fighter pressing forward. We've got one fighter countering. Mm. That's what they both best at. So. Oh, oh, beautiful big right shot. Oh, big Two shot. big shots. Oh, nice. What a fight. What a what first round, too. That is a very tough round to score, uh, and that's, that's why I'm not even going to try. <laughs> one fighter coming forward, one fighter counting, both landing a couple of clean right hands at the end there. Ezra yeah. with that classic 2-3-2. Two, two. Ollie pulls back with that jab with a two behind it. Here comes the head kick, I believe. There it is. Yeah, it's that dexterity of that... Uh, he's he's right, that look <laughs> I give it nothing. Yeah, blockhead, if you will. <laughs> Yeah, he's an animal logo. Okay. That's right. Yeah. He's definitely got a rig on him. Here's a big, good combo by Israel, the 2 3 2 that you were saying, Luke. Yeah, hey, I would like to see Israel move a little bit more with his yeah. speed. He's staying a little bit too stationary, whereas Oli is quite the movement fighter. Um, that works perfectly for Oli, to be honest. That's what you do with somebody that stands in front of you, create angles, move back and forth, sideways. And as you would know, Jorge, Ollie can move all night. He'll, he'll, yeah. he'll circle and jab off the outside all night long. Yeah. Um, and by the looks of it, we're going to see Ezra trying to follow him up all night long. So let's see what's about to happen yeah. second round. No. Yeah, Ollie wants Ezra to follow him. Ezra wants to follow Ollie. So Lightweight title on the line, guys. I love those teams from Oli. Yeah. Keep him at a distance. Both, both boys got some thick legs on them, so you know all these kicks add up. Solar plex, legs, liver, Absolutely. ribs. Oh, teeing off now. Mm. Picking up the pressure, Isra. A little bit more than the first round. I think Oli's doing a good job of just countering. He's not letting Isra touch him and not doing anything back. As soon as Isra touches Oli, he's returning with something. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I feel like uh, Oli's definitely landing a, a couple more cleaner punches there. Yeah. Isra maybe a couple, uh, maybe more heavy, heavy kicks yeah. there. Um, that might come down to that reach. Is Oli uh, being a little bit more active than Isra at the moment, I think. Oh yeah, like you said, I think Ezra's landing the heavier shots, yeah. but Oli's landing more shots. Yeah. There's a big left kick there to the outside mm. of Oli's rear leg. Oli looks for that low rip. Ezra returns. Oh, good tip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. one-two down the middle. Oli returns to the zone. Every time these boys light it up, the crowd's going nuts. It's hard to hear. Oh, beautiful left hand by Isra. And again. Oh, oh, big right hand from Isra. Ollie takes it. Isra looks to unload. Ollie's in and out. That's a good kick. Oh, back first lands. Oh, no. 
Ezra switched off for a moment and got clipped, but seems to be fine. Oh, big oh right beautiful hand. big right Health hand. Healthcare dropped to the ground. That might have rocked Ollie. Yeah, I think it might have for oh, a little bit. Oh. I don't agree with that. The ref should have let that yeah. go. The ref should have let that go. Um, Ezra was definitely, definitely hurt Ollie. Ollie was compromised. Um, that one definitely played for Ollie's favour, would you yeah. say? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and another uh, right hand by Ezra. Definitely when Ezra is landing, he, Ollie can feel it. Yeah. With a back like that, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Hard not to feel the shots. <laughs> you can feel them through the yeah. screen as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely got some power behind him. And I think Ollie's feeling that. Yeah, I think Ollie uh, might be a little hurt there. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think, so I think Ollie needs to get off the cage. Get his back off the cage. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Hey, beautiful kick. Oh, he's slowly recovering by the looks of it. Oh, there might be a cut above his left eye, or below his left eye, sorry. Yeah. If I was Oli, I would try to go for a takedown, test uh, Mishra's uh, wrestling and test his jets. Yeah, uh, we've got an interesting fight here. Um, score it how you like at home, guys, but this is a very, very close fight. Very close um, fight yeah. Not too much striking going on here, but uh, like Jorge was saying, um, Oli could mix in a bit of uh, his grappling here. Make it a bit more dirty. Ezra's really teed off on him on that uh, towards the end of that um, second round. But um, we got that third round coming. It's a beautiful spinning back fist. Yeah, that was nice. You can see Logan Price in the corner of his uh, his fighter there, Ollie Schmidt, jeeing him up. Oh, yeah, that's right the right hand. hand. That was beautiful. Right on the inside. I think Ollie was throwing the jab. Ezra got him on the inside. If you caught that on the if you caught that on the replay there, that was like a, a right foot step back off the left foot step with a right overhand. All you rugby and league players at the at home will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Last round here for the title, and an unorthodox move there, which yeah, is so <laughs> for sure. Third and final round. Yeah, I think Ezra. Every time he's touching Ollie, he's hitting with those big shots. Definitely a power punch and a nice low yeah. rip there. Ollie with that high kick followed by that one too. Nice. Oh, beautiful. beautiful Ezra says Ollie. bring it on, let's oh, rock and roll. Here we go. Yeah, hey, look, let's rock and roll. Ollie just has to get off the cage, I think. Get off the cage. I think that was a smart move by Ollie there, not yeah. getting sucked into that um, firefight there because uh, Ezra's got heavy oh, hands. Beautiful, beautiful take down by Ollie. Down. He really needs to lock those legs up there. Yeah, he's still oh, the back there. Like holding. Get those hooks in. Oh, beautiful job by Ezra to get us back to the cage. Yes, yeah, on a beautiful job. Oh, 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 no, oh again. I think the ref missed a bit of a cage grab there, yeah. but uh, lucky Ollie's still gone down. Still took him down. Uh, this is the the work that um, Ollie Schmidt's been working over in Hungary. Uh, his his team over there were predominantly wrestling based and Dutch kickboxers. Nice to see him mixing it up a bit. Oh, there's that third again. takedown. I think Oli might be feeling that he's a bit more superior here in the wrestling department, so I think he might he might be looking to keep in the fight on the ground instead of stand-up, because he was getting hurt every time that he was engaging with Isra. Yeah. Oli really needs to take the right here. Yep. Going again for a single leg. Needs to stick to his outside here to try and complete this, but I don't. I uh, don't think he's going to finish this, this mm. one here. Ezra's really strong with those double unders. Yeah, he's getting tired as well. I think yeah. Oli. Well, both men. I think are getting yeah. tired. Oli needs to lift that head up and uh, drive that into Ezra's chin and make it uncomfortable. There's too much space there. You look for a break. Yep, ah. there he goes. Shoot straight back in. Oli really making this grueling for both men. Absolutely. Just hard that, work. Just that wrestling. I think he's got his hands together. Yep, he's got both those hands yeah. locked. So he might just drag him out of the cage and try and dump him. Yep. But he's just doing uh, a good job. Nice job, Ezra. Ezra looks to slip out. Last 30 seconds. Yep. Oli looks to break off, looking a bit tight there. Oh, beautiful combo. 
Here nice we go, they're going to put it on the line for the last 20 seconds. Both boys won it. Both we boys living all on the line. Superman punch from Ezra. Ollie with a 1-2. Oh. 3-2. Both last boys seconds. living it all out. Ezra throws that straight left. Oh, oh. Ollie shoots down. And that might be it. Oh, beautiful work by both guys. What a fight. What a fight. What a fight. I want to see a fourth round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give them uh, ten no, rounds. No complaint with that one. <laughs> that was a beautiful fight by oh, both Oh, what men. a fight. Yeah. Uh, these guys looked in superb shape. Um, mm -hmm. I've, I've been fortunate enough to watch New Zealand MMA for a very long time and the strides that we're making in this country are huge. For those yeah. of you watching at home, you know, if you were watching this 10 years ago, guys, are, you know, the shape guys are turning up into amateur fights now is great. It just shows the level of commitment nice behind all the gyms, the yeah. guidance. Um, They're all living, leveling up. Yeah. A lot of these guys, uh, some have full-time jobs and, and some are committing and, uh, and going full-time for us. Um, Paul Haywood, no, he's a fighter himself. It, it, when you're turning up doing a nine hour day and trying to go to training for a couple of hours at the end, it, it, it's, it's a big gig. Yeah, it's, it's a big a ask. Yeah, people that, even anyone that steps in the cage to be in a circle, the props that they get, um, yeah, they try to work. Good respect, Sean, by both fighters. Let's go to Isaac Savage. Before Isaac Savage hands that mic over, uh, that was a that was a very very close fight. You'd yeah. probably have to say they gave Ollie the first and third round. Yeah. Um, Ezra definitely, in my opinion, had that second round. But um, yeah. what a fight! I uh, think it might have just been the wrestling yeah. at the end that won in the fight. Uh, all these, yeah. That work that he's been doing over in Hungary has been paid off. <laughs> yeah, secured three or four takedowns in that third round and um, showed that um, that mixed martial art all round game and. Um, yeah sort of was losing on the feet in that second round and, uh, and mixed it up and it paid off so credit to you Ollie Schmidt well done absolutely congratulations yeah, champ, champ now I think yeah champ champ, 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 champ now yeah. uh, like uh, Jorge was saying earlier he might enter the pro ranks but shout out to Ezra um, I'm sure these boys will meet again in the future and um, Ezra oh, you did awesome tonight mate should be proud of yourself absolutely you, you put a champ, great champ. fight mate that was, that was incredible